Hi, welcome to Kids Zone. Thanks for being here today. This month is focused on kindness. And last week we talked about being kind to others because God is kind to us. Today we're going to look at the story of Ruth. See you after the lesson. And let's see here. Mm, uh, ooh, cool cat. <laughs> this one's for you, Cookie. There we go. You can get that later. All right, let's see here. Uh, hey, hey. Uh, team, ooh, Team Awesome. Steve, Steve, the cameraman. Here we go. Nice. Did you get Valentine's for the crew? Yeah, I did. I did. Oh. Let's see. You rock. Oh, I know who that is. That's Michelle. Uh, Michelle, you rock. Ready? All right. Let's see here. Do you have one for everybody in the in the? Oh, yeah, yeah, I sure do. Right. Oh, best hair. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I know who that is. Definitely Kellen. Here you go, Kellen. Yeah. Um, oh, you might like this one, Brandon. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. Good friend. Aw, that's so You nice. are an amazing co-host. Oh. Hilarious and intelligent, always eager to learn and to support me in my career and creative endeavors. Thank you, that is very nice of you. And okay. you are very, 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 very. I'll just get this one. Very, very. Hey, everybody, I'm Brandon. And I'm John, and welcome to the So and So Show. Happy Valentine's Day. Woo! Yeah, <laughs> go love. What are you doing? Oh, I'm celebrating Valentine's Day. I'm a big fan. Woohoo! Woohoo! Okay, well, if you are a big fan, then you should know that that is not the proper way to celebrate Valentine's Day. Sure it is. I've got pom-poms and everything else. I know how to be a fan. It's all about love and kindness and woo! Okay, could you stop that? No, my friend. Valentine's Day is more introspective, more thoughtful. Like this. Roses are red, violets are violet. This day makes me sore, and so does a pilot. That's terrible. I'm a true fan. Oh, whatevs. I'm way more of a fan than you'll ever be. Oh, yeah? Yeah. You got a game to prove it? Of course I do. It's time for Fantastic Fan Tactics. All right, here's how we play Fantastic Fan Tactics. John and I will demonstrate how to be the best fan for a bunch of different sports and events. It's up to you to decide which one of us has the most fantastic fan tactics. You up to the challenge, John? Oh, I sure am. Let the games begin. Tennis. Are you kidding me? That was out. Rev, you need glasses. Soccer. Oh! Ole, 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 ole. Ole, 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 ole. Hey, ole, ole. Is it over? Bowling. Woo! Oh, yeah! He got three strikes in a row. You're out of there! No. Yes. Spelling bee. C T I V. Introspective. Oh, you forgot the E. You know better, Devin. You know better. Come on. 
good effort, Devin. Bible story time with Kellen. All right, my favorite part of the show. Yeah, go Kellen. It's Bible story time with Kellen. Hey guys. Hey, hey. Hey Kellen. We're huge fans. Yeah. Oh, well thank you. I'm a huge fan of you too. What's the story today, Kellen? Well, today we're telling the story of Ruth, a beautiful picture of kindness. And to help me tell it, here's the so-and-so show oh. players. Woo Ruth lived in a country called Moab. She got married to a man from Judah, but sadly he died. And so did his brother and his father. So Ruth was left all alone with her husband's mother, Naomi. Oh, Ruth, what am I to do? My husband and both my sons have died. I must return home to my own land of Judah. Oh, Naomi, I will go with you. Oh, no, dear, you are not from Judah. I can't do anything for you there. No husband, no home, no money. I will not leave you. Where you go, I will go. Your people will be my people. Your God will be my God. I will die by your side. Well, I, I see you will not be convinced. <laughs> so, okay. <laughs> you can come with me. <laughs> So Ruth returned to Naomi's homeland in Judah, to the city of Bethlehem. They didn't have much, so they needed to find food and a way to make a living. So Ruth went to a field of one of Naomi's relatives to collect grain left behind by the harvesters. So glad there's barley for me and Naomi to eat. <laughs> she worked hard all day, and the owner of the land took notice. His name was Boaz. You're the woman that came with Naomi, aren't you? Oh, yes, I'm Ruth. Well, Ruth. Feel free to come and pick barley in my fields every day. Oh. I will make sure that you're safe and that you always have water to drink when you're thirsty. Oh, why are you being so nice to me? You don't even know me. <laughs> I have heard how kind you have been to Naomi. May God bless you and protect you. Come, eat with me and my workers. Oh, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> <clears throat> you coming? Yes. <laughs> Ruth and Boaz grew very fond of one another, and soon the two of them were married. I promise to love you, Ruth. And I promise to love you, Boaz. <laughs> and I promise to take care of you and Naomi. Oh, God has been good to me. I thought my life was over, but now my life is good again. Let's dance! Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh that's cool! <laughs> and not long after that, Ruth gave birth to a baby boy named Obed, who would one day be the grandfather to a shepherd boy and king named David. The end. There is a lot of kindness in that story. God was kind to Ruth and Naomi, even when things looked like they were hopeless. Ruth was kind to Naomi. Boaz was kind to Ruth. Doesn't it make you want to go out there and be kind to someone right now? It sure does. Yeah, but it, it must have been hard for Ruth to be kind when things were so rough for her. It's, it's hard for me, even if I don't get sleep or have heartburn or something. I know. And for some reason, it's even harder to remember to be kind to your friends and family. Hmm. Now, why is that? You know, I don't know. 
Maybe it's because you're around your friends and family the most, so you start to take them for granted. Plus, they get on your nerves more. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you just look at me just now? No reason. Hey, thanks for the story, Kellen. Con mucho gusto. Be kind to each other, fellas. Bye, Kellen. See ya. <laughs> Do I get on your nerves? I mean... Am I getting on your nerves now? Well, how about now? How about now? How about now? How about now? Reveal the question! Oh! When is it hard to be kind? How about now? Someone gets on your how nerves. About how about now? Yes. Or when you're having a bad day. Or sometimes it's hard to be kind to the people you're closest to, your friends and your family. But it's always possible and always worth it. So true. Yeah. Talk about it together and we will see you next week on The So-and-So oh, Show. Yeah. Hooray for next week! Awesome! Bees elbows. Oh, like the bees knees? Yeah, but not as good. I don't know how to text, so I'm writing my feelings on a heart. That's not accurate because if you didn't know how to text, you couldn't write on a heart. Wasn't Valentine's Day yesterday? Oh, this heart's broken. Oh, it's, it's a broken, a broken heart. heart. And it says totes. Because <laughs> part of the word's missing. Rockstar! <laughs> That's real. Love you, spelled with a U. Oh, not with an L? Yeah, the it, Y O U. That's ridiculous. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> there was a lot of kindness in that story. Kindness is not just for others, it is also for family and friends. And sometimes that's hard, but it is important. So be kind to each other. Have a great day, have a great week, and I'll see you next time. Bye.